Hello, um, this is Everett, and uh, today I'm going to be working on um, going back over some of the uh, gaffes I made um, with stenciling and doing things a little bit differently. And uh, I'm fairly confident that uh, the the barn will come out better the second time around. I'm doing things a little differently um, this time. I invested in some stenciling paper and uh, well it isn't really paper it's more of a transparency um, I figured if I'm gonna go to the trouble of making these stencils may as well make them permanent never know when I can uh, never know when I might need them again uh, also invested in some a uh, little bit of spray adhesive here and it's artist adhesive and uh, it allows me to uh, spray um, onto the back of the stencil and have it be able to temporarily stick to the backdrop and uh, adhere to it in such a way that uh, shouldn't have <coughs> excuse me, uh, the same uh, over spray problems or having spray seep under the uh, stencil so uh, doing things a little different and uh, first thing I'm going to do is uh, take this outside and give this a just a quick layer of uh, of the adhesive and uh, you only want to spray uh, the adhesive on one side if you do it on both sides you'll end up with a permanent bond um, or and you don't, you don't want that when it comes to stenciling so you just want to spray it on lightly so it just sticks just enough so that paint can't seep under it so uh, I'll take this outside and give it a shot and bring it back in okay I've given my image a thin coating of adhesive <coughs> excuse me and the reason why I'm doing this is I'm gonna lay the stenciling paper on top and I don't want my image to be moving around while I'm cutting it out so this is will just kind of tack it and hold it into place temporarily and then when the, once I've cut uh, the stencil out I'll just peel this off and be left with my stencil so uh, that's uh, what's happening here all right, I've gone ahead and uh, attached my image to the stencil, and uh, see, it stays on pretty good. I don't want it to be permanent, and because uh, I want to be able to peel this thing off, and you can see here, this is relatively easy. It peels off fairly easily, so I uh, just want it on there enough so it won't uh, shift around. So uh, I'm gonna start cutting this out and uh, replace my exacto blade and get something sharp want to go with the sharpest possible blade I can have so I want this to cut cleanly
Okay, here we are outside. I'm gonna go ahead and give us a shot of the adhesive. Now I'm gonna be spraying my paint from this side, so I wanna flip this over because I want the adhesive on the back side. So I'll go ahead and uh, I'm just gonna coat the stencil, I'm not gonna coat the backdrop. <coughs> okay. Just like that. Nice coat. Let it dry a little bit for a couple of minutes before sticking it onto the backdrop, then we'll be ready to rock and roll.